Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I want to talk about inspiration, but especially how inspiration is discussed in Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert after my second read of the book. I first read Big Magic in 2016 when I was at a particularly low point in my life. I read it alongside Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson and through reading both of those books I decided that I needed to take a creative break. This was due to something I'd read which involves a man going to see Richard Ford and he says about how he isn't getting any enjoyment out of writing, that he and Richard Ford write similar things and that, that people keep telling him to persevere and because people keep telling him to persevere it's now making him feel worse so Richard Ford tells him to quit. He tells him that the writing is clearly not giving him any enjoyment and he should go out there and he should find something else that gives him enjoyment. But whilst he's away from the writing, whilst he isn't thinking about the writing, if he finds that nothing else fills him with that same joy and wonder that writing brings, then he should go back into writing. And I read that and I knew that I had to take this break from writing, which is well documented, packing stuff into boxes, not thinking about writing for nearly two months and then coming back and having new insights into what I wanted to write and how I wished to express myself within my prose. And this did lead me to changing the way I approached comedy in my second book, but I am rather proud of the way that turned out. On the 1st of January of this year, our great friend 2018, I reread Furiously Happy for the, well it was my fourth time reading that book and I have yet to go back to Big Magic and I thought well let's do it, let's go back, let's think about our creativity. I am currently looking at a book that I wrote years ago and trying to rewrite it and I want to see how I feel through writing this book. And there is a strange thing that happens to me when I read this book because every time it seems to fill me with inspiration for stuff. Now the first time reading it I pushed aside all of that inspiration. I was not allowing myself to think about writing. I'd already almost made the decision myself to not write it for a while and this was pushing me towards it and I didn't want these the inspiration to come with me. In Big Magic, Elizabeth Gilbert treats inspiration and ideas as almost metaphysical energies. Ideas and inspiration will seek you out and you will either accept them into you or they will go on and find the next person or sometimes you might not be the right person and you can tell the inspiration and the ideas where to go, who to seek out. And not gonna lie, for those few months when I wasn't writing, I did become a person who was treating inspiration like this metaphysical energy. I was talking to my creativity more. I was writing letters to my creativity, specifically what I wrote where I apologised for not being able to write now, but telling creativity that it was the best for us. And I did actually use this for a writing workshop exercise in which I asked people to communicate with the creativity. I'm not sure whether I ever actually got around to doing that, but I created an exercise around it. I, personally, have never found it difficult to work with inspiration. I have never found it difficult to have ideas. I've been very accepting of all the ideas that have come my way and written them down with the chance of maybe writing a book or definitely writing a book in some cases to the point that before I took the creative break I had a list of 10 books that I wanted to write and none of them were anything to do with what I was currently writing at the time. They were all urban fantasy, young adult stories but what can you do? And then I took the break, I got rid of all the ideas I'd had before, and I came back to writing slowly. Sometimes during that time, inspiration would come to me and I would kindly move it on. And since I started writing, I have allowed more ideas and more inspiration to come my way. So much so that I now do have another list of 10 books that I want to write and the prayer and the hope within me that I will still want to write those books when I eventually get to them. Meanwhile, this book did give me the story that I do want to write in the future, but I know that I don't yet have the craft and the skills to write that book. But I have promised to write that book and that it will definitely happen one day because I'm excited about that book, but I don't want to go into a book too excited. 
I want to work with it slowly, build all the pieces together and properly figure it out before I get there, which does include leaving hints in other books that this book will happen one day, as an almost promise to myself and to that book that it will get created and it will appear in some form at some point. But I am also interested in what other people's thoughts about inspiration and ideas are. Do other people think that inspiration is this energy out there that will come to you and ask you and your creativity whether you want to work with it? Or do you think that ideas are just made up from all of the things that we have witnessed within our lives and have slowly over time worked together to create something that only you will be able to write because this book does ask a lot this book asks you to really begin to think more of spiritual energies and i feel like sometimes if you aren't spiritual in that sense then you won't be able to look at inspiration in the same way part of me is in the latter camp that maybe inspiration whilst it seems metaphysical and it seems magical inspiration is just something that is made up of all these things and only you are the person who can be able to write them but you do have to work together and you can't get frustrated and I do have a lot more to talk about in relation to this book which is why this is going to end up being quite a series of videos and why I'm only talking about inspiration today because it's something I'd really like to have a discussion about and like I say I don't have a problem getting ideas my problem is in the execution on getting these ideas down on the page. Whereas I know a lot of people who have problems even getting the inspiration, even getting the ideas in which to work and in which to be able to create. It's definitely an interesting thing. I am always susceptible to ideas, but I'm also now, after reading this book, more capable and able to see which books I can write and which books I have the knowledge and would be best for me to write and which books would be best for other people. I will tell people I've had this idea, it's not for me, but I think it could turn out to be a good story for someone one day. It's why when people come up to me and say to me, I've got a great idea for a story for you, you're writing the wrong thing, you should be writing about crack addicts, it's the only way to make it in this world, that I do get a bit frustrated and I say to people, you've had the idea, you want to write that book, you write that book, it's not for me. What are your thoughts on inspiration? Do you think that it is? this big metaphysical energy. I know that I was able to suspend some sort of disbelief long enough in able to accept what Elizabeth Gilbert was saying in this book, and I do admit this book is extremely helpful to me and bringing out more of the creative side of me. But I also know people who have had a problem with her way of thinking. So yes, let's open up this discussion in the comments and we will talk about inspiration and where we think it comes from and how we ourselves are inspired. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, that is all.